So, hello and welcome back to another episode of Ripper Stars 4. We're of course playing with the I'm the Enough Fantasy mod as Bian Fang. As I uh, have little to no idea of what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> or rather what the hell I was doing, really. Or what I was planning. Let's 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 take let's take a quick look at everything. Maybe I'll get some idea of what is going on. I mean, currently I still have to uh, kind of have to build up these things. I think I've taken in the yeah, dinosaurs already. For this one, we need to conquer a little bit more here. For this one, we of course have to fight a command. And for this one, we need money to just build up the fortress. And that is kind of not necessary, really. So. We have to, at some point, of course, we want to do this, but I feel like overall this mission we at the moment we stop. We could try to give the commander early fight, but I think that's just a waste of, waste of resources, right? Don't see me getting much out of this. Just got a cannon. Why not? We wanted to fight Tian Lu um, at some point. Because we do need T I think we just need Tian Lu really to get uh, this done. Yeah and, f yeah, and f seven more provinces to form Dahui. That definitely would help me out a bit. Maybe even better. I'm not even sure what. Uh, uh, I, I will make compare their ideas if they are different. For the moment. <laughs> we need to get this done. The TN loot rules should be five years. I think that I remember. Yes, exactly five years. So what am I gonna do in these five years? I could attack Kohai. Because we need them anyway. We will have to fight you guys on the side. But you are currently very weak. What if I involve you here? No, you won't. Oh, we have a truce with you. Oh. Right. This was actually going be to be the next fight. We actually have nothing else that we can do at the moment. I could jump you, but that means I would need to fight all of these guys, which also seems like a waste of my time. So let's actually build up. <coughs> okay. Apparently I cannot do anything, so I don't do anything. I mean, I also am in need of some manpower, so we might as well. Give this all a moment. Uh, I would like a leader back. Drill. Temple restoration. No, not at the moment. I don't care. Uh, this one we're definitely gonna take. Uh, we can build barracks. We could also build workshops. Yeah. Yeah, we can build workshops. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly useful. We are of course still purging the rest of these left hand boys. So that basically means we don't need anything to convert them. That just happens on its own. You want to invite someone? We still only have the unbroken claw. Alright. Don't need it at the moment. We of course don't want really... I mean, I guess I could marry you. Okay. We are gonna take this stuff. And we actually unlock Chunbiao standard standards law. The only way mere, mere humans can overcome the strength of the severed traces is with intense physical regiment and military discipline to match. Soldiers that pass our str stringent standards of fitness and proficiency will earn an exemption from taxation and corvy labor. If love and duty to our glorious state cannot inspire them, perhaps a monetary incentive will. Army to regain, it's alright. <laughs> It is alright. It is acceptable. I mean, I kind of want to get this fight done as soon as possible before uh, 
this causes trouble. I think the plan was to attack Kohai, call in Tian Xiang, and then call uh, then attack Tian Lu, because then they will not join that fight, and that will be a lot easier. You only have these guys on yours. Oh. I mean, uh, okay. One of you has a siege pip. So you have a siege pip. I mean, I'm gonna still stop tr drilling you. This is not gonna be a problem, right? No. I mean, of course, I'm not gonna lose any admin. This is gonna hurt a bit, probably. Okay, it's alright. Let's see if my friends can take that. And as maybe they're gonna give me some provinces. We do have claims on this, so... Yeah. Let's also occupy everything. Because if we piece them out, it should be alright. This is only the, this this corner here. We have to fight Chen Xiang at some point ourselves. But that will come around. I said love didn't steal any boats. Okay. This this single this single boat here will be the build up for something great. <laughs> I probably should also uh, just separate a siege group here. Uh, oh, I hate this. We need nine, so we leave ten here. Don't need to lose all of the numbers, all of the manpower. So I guess this truce here will be uh, not too important and we're gonna go back to drilling. We have three more years. Actually, we're gonna drill over here. Just to make these guys aware of our intentions. If the war takes long enough, I mean, uh, that's not gonna take... Nah, that war's not gonna take three years. <laughs> that war's not gonna take three years. But if it would, we could also use that to attack Tianlu. So we probably have to attack Nung Den Sarai directly. I guess that might even be better. Doesn't get anyone else involved. Sure. If you're fighting a war together, we, you might as well become friends, right? I can understand that. Okay, these have not been picked yet. We do have a Diplo, uh... Oh, well. Well, I guess I got three provinces out of it. Oh, right, we're also completely on governing capacity. <laughs> that is a bit silly. Okay, this war was not uh, the one. Wait a second. Can't just do something else completely. Oh, right, yeah. I already did that. Can I uh, reduce your opinion well enough? Uh, no. That's a shame. Uh, I don't want that. But I did see some more decent stuff here. <coughs> and we either need to become strong or get some decent alliances in still. The command is still a threat to us. But we're actually, like, numbers wise, we have even that out even. You're still guaranteed by Nukden Sarai. I mean, we need Nukden Sarai anyway. I think the first war that I'm gonna then do but will be the Tian Lu war. Because we're basically throwing Tian Xiang against that. And if they are threatened, uh, if they are uh, damaged well enough, we then can take a few steps. There's also a lot of stuff. Sur surprisingly a lot of money I g I'm getting from that. The production is already overtaking everything. That's quite nice. 
Uh, these guys are not gonna become happy enough. State, respect local traditions, yeah. None of these are gonna be happy enough. But I think I have everything in already, right? Admin, military, diplo, yeah. So the ground land will come eventually. I mean, like I said before, we still have a lot of deving to do. And we pushed up land 1, right? For this one. Yeah. Alright, that was to be expected eventually. Secret police raids. How, what are we currently looking at? We are right in the middle. Can we make our way towards more... I'm still not sure which one of the... I mean... Wait. Ginyu, this is just one province actually gets that. And it gets it twice, which makes no sense. So the only gonna is gonna get it once. So this is gonna be better. Okay. All of that done. We are nearly over here. Oh, that siege ability I might even push for. Infantry fire, carry shock. Yeah, might not be super perfect, but it will do. Alright, next year this is gonna pop around. When next year? Our truce with uh, on the second. Oh no, wait. Tianlu actually happens first. Ah. And Tianxiang is very well within the joining that. Then I might have to wait a little bit longer. Wait three years. As long as these guys uh, po pop in. I mean, I definitely don't want to fight both of them. Because fighting both of them means that we're gonna have a, d a fairly bigger loss. Oh, oh. Alright, then it just collapsed. So we basically have no one that really stops the command. Unless the Jadadi shows up. And looks uh, and looks what's going on. Okay, we do have full advisors, right? Yeah. Fertile. That's not helping. If you think that helps, that's really wrong. It's not that much, really, right? Oh, this guy's getting completely annihilated here. Let's start building a spy network on you. This one also is going far enough down. I mean, the, the only threat is like these guys behind me. At this point. So... We could attack Tian Lu now. Of course, we ha like we would win this fight, but we would lose a very strong ally. So I'm actually willing to wait another two years. Not even a one and a half year. Which also is gonna uh, clean up my the rest of my manpower. Talking about that, let's get another cannon in. We need some siege stuff, right? Oh, I'm talking about this as well. There's still good stuff to build. If the game just gives me money. Oh, there's also some definite, some decent taxes that need to be built. Just get that done everywhere. We probably have to, I think, barracks it was at some point everywhere. But we'll see about that. Admin we could take ahead of time. I assume that Diplo is almost still ahead of time. Alright. We now have just one full year left. There we go. Which one was picked? Military? We could wait until next year with military. I did say I would like to get the siege ability. Oh, this core creation cost would also be amazing. We'll see towards the end of the year if we can take that. Admin has not been picked. So what are we gonna do with the admin? Are we gonna dev up? We're gonna go for a bit, a bit more stability. We don't have any cost increases here, right? No, that's 119. Yeah, we're gonna actually go for stability. 
I think. I mean, the, the military advantage will be quite useful. Uh, do I try this? Oh, I don't have morale. I mean, they're gonna finish it, right? Yeah, just about. Alright, that didn't hurt that much. Uh, we probably should stop uh, doing anything here, right? Okay, we have 41 days left. That should be alright. Yeah. So. This has been picked. This has not been picked. I am gonna go for that one stability. Now, how much do we have here? This costs 753, so not enough to actually also do that. But I think this one is gonna be, in the end, a little bit more substantial. During the war we will get this one, so there's that. Alright. 29k? Do you have a free star general? Oh, that's a war mage. Alright. Have fun. We are just gonna... We are gonna definitely help out in this war. They might beat stuff up here, of course. But I'm kind of alright with that. We have different things to do. Alright. You guys have some numbers to you. You guys are gonna go for the siege here. Oh, well, I guess that was actually not a worse decision. No, free stability. Uh, where's your army? You're probably gonna walk around, yes? I mean, we want to beat up that Tian Lu army, right? Let's see if we can catch them, depending on where they run, to be honest. This looks not like really they're running anywhere. Uh, well, you know what? If they're just doing goofy stuff... Uh, how, will, how are we looking around for kobolds? Do we care about them being accepted? We might want to get them accepted. Sure. Right, you've done that, lovely. Luckily these boats were saved. Okay, looks like they are doing something silly. We'll taking we'll be taking that. That is just a good fight. Hills, so I got a penalty. We are quite a bit better. Oh, yeah, I guess that was a bit better. <laughs> a tiny bit better. We did there. <laughs> Alright, I assume that you're just gonna take this for us. Yep, lovely. This one should also be taken for us. To be honest. Oh. Good. I guess Tian Lu's armies are definitely destroyed. Just occupy everything. I guess I should put some. I should put someone on this here. This is gonna take long enough. My vessels are not really doing anything, so maybe I should go into position. What is? What are you guys doing? You're stitching everything around. <laughs> That's, I guess, a, a, a tactic. Okay. So Di Diplo will no longer be available. You have been picked. I could wait until next year, but I don't really have anything else to spend, so... And Diplo, we're just gonna go through everything here. Just gonna push that through. Stormcloud of the West. To the squabbling young city-states downstream we are the Stormcloud looming from the West, but we know the true, st true threat. A great horde of subhuman monsters threatens to engulf us. Unlike the hated Sun Elves, we know these invaders from the mountains to, the rev to be ravenous and unyielding. The only way to survive is for us to sweep over the divided Yanshan and forge a single state, rigged and powerful like the Hobgoblins who threaten us. Without unity, Yanshan will fall to outside once again. At least they know what they want, right? At least they know what they want. 
You can't say that every time uh, from everyone. Well, time to see Jarving up. We did get a increase here, so we can get this one done. Lovely. Makes our army more substantial. We are just we're just calculating everything in manpower. <laughs> and land force limits. So this one this one is all for me. Lovely. That I do need, right? Yep, have the claims here. You are separate thingy. We'll see what we can take from Tian Lu first of all. But I guess we'll soon enough we'll run into you here. You are sieging that one down. Alright, you guys are gonna go here and then take over. We're gonna send this army over to actually fight the boys. Okay. In lush fields. Of course nobody sieged that. Of course they didn't. Uh, I mean I am always a sucker for... I mean I don't need the Diplo, but I guess we'll take that. Oh right, uh, you're out. We don't need anything from you. So, you, like I said, take over here. They also lo just lost the leader. So... Of course it delays the siege ability a little bit more, but it doesn't look like we really are in dire need of it. Oh, we have not occupied fighting. I like how, mu how much that, that capital is worth. You see that on the war score? <laughs> so. We need Tianlu, no matter what. That already is uh, plenty... So we have claims on all of this stuff here. That's 82. But of course at this point, if it's not anyone outside, I don't really care. So if we have that... What even, what even is the mission to get that? Was it down the... Uh, no, wait. We don't even have a... Where do we, would we get a claim on Tianlu? Jingyun Barshadin. Is it this here? Actually... It's nowhere around here. But I knew I do need Tianlu for the Imperial Junction, right? Oh no, wait. T Capital is has forty-five development, so I don't ev don't even need Tianlu. I mean, forty-five development. Of course, that is going to be the colonialism push, right? That would be a lot. That is a lot to click. But didn't we have like a mission that uh, an Imperial Capital be on Fungus 45 development? Yeah. I mean, I guess still forming this early might be interesting. We would get a... W yeah, we would get a permanent claim. Yeah. Just so we can be a dig about it. <laughs> Because otherwise we would need to wait 11 years and then even see how many, how many, uh, st how much stuff we have. Yeah, let's just do that. Screw it, it's mine now. I would have enough money for this. Mm, no, I want this one first. Come and reform. So, what do we have here? Oh, the temples. Okay, we know what we're gonna take here. Actually, this one would, would, would not be the worst, the admin technology cost reduction. But we are making a decent bit of... Yeah, no, let's... We were building up uh, stuff anyway. So let's continue with that. So it does need to be a core, right, uh, Tianlu? Yeah, core province, so that one definitely needs to be caught. And then the rest we'll see. Oh, we can't do everything. Good. <laughs> Clarify that. I'm wondering if I should just keep you there, because these guys are definitely gonna rebel up. Yeah. You guys are doing your thing. Very cool. That's a very brave attack. But you win it. Okay, it seems like the... The lads here are not doing that much more. I don't think I need to do that much more, to be honest. 
I can go for a bit more teaching. I do want to see the last step here. I like how much our allies have done in this. We actually do have a decent bit of war score. We don't need to, like, these guys are crippled enough. Don't look down so I, I'm not really feared. Okay, I'm definitely not scared of them. <laughs> okay, this is once again a waste of manpower, but I just wanted to see this place. <laughs> we'll just see how far our allies get. I don't see much reason why I should put in the effort. Alright. I might as well siege it down now. Now that I've made it here. But then we're gonna, running, gonna be running all the way back. Yep, that's 71%. Just do your part, friends. Just do your part. Alright. I did say... I mean, we're just gonna finish this up now. And then we're at peace we can form, uh, then... Yanshin. Now we're gonna just go for every bit of information about uh, the stuff. I don't mind. Isn't it nice to have allies? Oh, we're gonna get the nick. Yeah, okay, well. Tough life, merchants. Tough life. Uh, we, this one we basically can stop now. Ah, jump to 100k. Oh. That's money. We're also gonna continue with the temple building because that currently is a decent modifier that we have. Just give me all the money. Just uh, like one month of big ticks. I said big ticks, not nothing else. I just said big ticks. <laughs> just to let you know, nothing else was just said there. <laughs> okay, you guys want peace? 88. Lovely. Half life on the ocean. Let's make use of this new stuff. I guess we're also gonna start admin focus. We are uh, a bit behind. I'm not gonna lie. Looking at that now. The capital is Tianlu. Oh. Well, I'm good at reading. <laughs> you guys are impressed by my reading skills? <laughs> it's terrifying, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I still am alright with taking uh, Tianlu away. Tianlu just is too valuable. I mean, look at it. 48. I mean, who does that? Uh, 92. I think you've done enough work. Oh yeah, that's 99%. Thanks, Jianxiang. Very cool. These three provinces should be mine. I could also give this stuff to... Uh, Kukiao. Because I don't need to core it. This one needs to be... Yeah, Bronze owner have teachings of all this, so we can't really make use of that. That would be amazing, of course, but we can't have everything in life. Alright, that's 52. That does involve Asyakuma, but it's not enough to make me care. Oh, humiliate. Do we, do we still have a humiliate? No, we didn't. We only have to declare war. I do want to humiliate. So, I want points. So, let's make use of all of that. Our gunning capacity is gonna pop up there. I mean, this doesn't happen, right? That's a hundred, that's two hundred admin. I'm still kind of thinking about if it's worth it to do this early or not. Yeah, we out eclipsed Nukten Sadai. Lovely. Now we just need some numbers back. Uh, I don't want to just get it done. <laughs> With the so-called Tiger Fort family under our control, its previous defenders sufficiently pacified, we must begin to fortify our position, lest we lose our newfound gains to the hobgoblins of the command or the barbarians only to the north. 
Many of the four previous defenders have begrudgingly yet wisely kneel and Oh, many of the fort's previous defenders have begrudgingly yet wisely kneel and bow before our king, kneeled and bowed before our king, and vowed to earn their place in Bianfang. So there's a little bit of uh, wrong stuff there. Despite the oaths of loyalty, we will entrust one of our finest marshals to oversee the buildings, the building of, for of fortifications, and ensure that the tiger fort them remains solely under our control. All right. With this, I would also end the episode here anyway. So, like always, like the Ram Shenanigans. I guess see you guys next episode. Bye!